Alex, chemistry teacher. Um, welcome to this online session. And uh, before everything else, we remember what we have been told by the government. Always uh, we should uh, sanitize to stay clean so that we can avoid uh, bad circumstances. So, uh, so far so good. Today we are going to learn about uh, ion formation in chemistry. And uh, the basic things to encounter in this uh, topic is the definition of an ion. What is an ion? And also, uh, how do metals form ions? Another thing is that, uh, how do uh, non-metals form ions? And uh, another definition is uh, uh, valency. And also we shall be looking at uh, uh, writing chemical equations, no, writing chemical formulas. So we have uh, our first major thing, we have uh, uh, how to form ions. Another thing, uh, how do uh, metals form ions? Another thing, how do non-metals uh, form ions? We have also uh, that one with drivers to uh, definition, definition of uh, valence. Lastly, uh, is to write chemical formula, the chemical uh, formula, chemical formula. So uh, basically, uh, we must begin with the definition of ion. What is an ion? Basically, an ion is a charged particle formed by gaining or losing electrons. And then, uh, how do metals form ions? We begin with our first uh, subtopic. How do metals form ions? How do metals form ions? Uh, basically, uh, we form ions by either gaining or losing electrons. And uh, we have a stable configuration of two. Uh, we have uh, 2.8 and 288. So once we have uh, an atom or an ion having this kind of a configuration, uh, we consider it as a, as a, a stable configuration. So, uh, uh, metals they form ions so as to have a stable configuration. For example, you can uh, uh, look at the uh, sodium. Sodium. Sodium atom has a configuration of 2, 8, 1. So, for sodium uh, to form an ion, to have a stable configuration, it can either gain seven outermost electrons to have a stable configuration of 288 or lose the one outermost electron to have a stable configuration of 28. So the question is, uh, uh, you look at the, uh, the amount of energy that is being required, uh, it is very difficult to gain seven electrons to obtain a stable configuration of 288 but it is easier to lose the outermost electron to obtain a stable configuration of 2,8. So uh, basically, metals are the form ion by losing their outermost electron. So uh, sodium, for it to become sodium ion, it must lose uh, the one outermost electron to have a stable configuration of 2,8. Uh, we can look at the structure. Uh, let's say this is a sodium, sodium atom. We have the two uh, innermost electrons. We have uh, the eight. And the mass of car is a pair. And then we have uh, the one outermost electron. So for sodium being a metal, it must form an ion by losing one electron. So, to form an ion by uh, losing uh, one electron, 
to have a stable configuration of, uh, this one is uh, 281, to have a stable configuration of 28. So we still uh, retain our innermost electrons, 2. Then the outermost electrons, which are, are 8. So sodium has uh, lost one of its outermost electron to have a stable configuration of 2,8 by losing one electron, by losing one electron. You can look at another one example. And have another example of uh, magnesium. Magnesium. Magnesium is 282. So for magnesium to, have, to form an ion, it needs to lose these two outermost electrons to have a stable configuration of 28. So to form magnesium ion with a charge of two positive, uh, it must lose uh, these two outermost electrons uh, to form 28. This one is a stable uh, configuration. So uh, once we have that, we can illustrate using a diagram. This is magnesium atom. We have two. We have uh, eight. Then we have uh, the two outermost electrons. The two outermost electrons. So for these to form an ion, we need to lose to lose uh, two electrons to have a stable configuration of 2, 8. So we have a 2, 8. So it must uh, lose two electrons. Something I've forgotten earlier is that uh, uh, ion is a charged particle. So this one we have, it has a charge of 2 positive. Uh, why? Uh, here uh, we have we have, um, we have 12 uh, electrons, 12 electrons, here we have uh, also 12 protons, and when a particle loses or gain electron, the number of electrons, they change, but the number of protons, they remain the same. So in, in here we still have uh, 12 protons, but we have lost two electrons, so we have uh, 10 electrons. We have uh, 10 electrons. So uh, we know that uh, protons are positive, electrons are negative. So this uh, element here cannot be uh, uh, neutral because we have different number of protons and different number of uh, electrons. So we have a positive 12 and negative 10 to have a positive charge of 2. So magnesium has a positive charge of Two, since it has lost uh, two electrons, it has lost two electrons. So that is how metals they form ions. They form ions by losing their outermost electron, by losing their outermost electron. And uh, in uh, in metals, uh, we call these ions. We call these ions cations. Cations. Cations means that uh, we have positively charged ions. They are called cations. So let's look at uh, the other aspect. Let's look at the other aspect. How do nonmetals uh, form ions? So, how do uh, nonmetals? going to look at an example and uh, in this example let's look at uh, uh, chlorine. Chlorine has an electronic configuration of uh, 287, 287. So um, we have that uh, it has seven outermost electrons so it can either lose these seven electrons uh, to form a stable configuration of 28 or uh, to gain one electron to have a stable configuration of 288. 
So which one is easier? The easiest option is that uh, uh, is for a chlorine atom to gain one electron to have a stable configuration of 288. So nonmetals uh, they form ions by gaining an electron by gaining an electron. Let's look at an example. So that is a chlorine atom. Uh, it is going uh, to lose to gain. So chlorine is going to gain uh, one electron to have a stable configuration of two eight. So that's how the nanometers they form ions. They form ions by gaining electrons. They form ions by gaining electrons. So um, uh, for this, uh, we say that ions they must have a charge. They must have a charge. Uh, here we had um, here we had 17 protons, and the number of protons they must be equal with the number of electrons. So we still have 17 electrons. 17 electrons. Uh, in the other case of the ion, uh, we still have the same, same number of protons, but we have an added, we have an added uh, uh, proton, uh, electron, to have them to be eight electrons. So to have a charge, we have positive 17 protons and negative 18 electrons. To have a net, uh, a net charge of negative one, so uh, basically, uh, it's good to say that uh, uh, nanometals, they form ions by uh, gaining electrons, and uh, uh, they have a, a negative uh, charge, they have a negative charge. So when we have a negative charge, we call them anions. And anions, they are negatively charged ions, negatively charged ions. So we'd like to end our lesson there. And, uh, it has been uh, good having this session with you, and uh, let's meet next time. Thank you.